last time I talked with you uh, on the podcast, you were in the Paris meeting, mm -hmm. and you were discussing the single model accountability proposal of ICANN. Mm -hmm. And essentially, you told me that uh, it could work well because it is not incompatible with what the numbers think. But there have been recent developments on this um, accountability discussion. Can you talk a little bit about this? Sure. So this single member model um, proposal is actually being out for the public comment by the CCWG. But there has been um, additional feedback from the ICANN board about an alternative model, which is called a single designators model. And so um, the CCWG is waiting for uh, further details of the analysis um, and observation from the ICANN board and why they think this model is uh, helpful and also at the same time ensuring that all the requirements listed by the CCWG will be met even by this model. So there are different ways to arrive to the same end, basically is the uh, discussion right now. One is the single model proposal and the other is the designator's proposal. But what is important is to uh, keep the accountability requirements uh, uh, as a whole, right? Indeed, and um, the details could matter in reaching the requirements. So I think I would expect that this will further be discussed uh, within the CCWG. But uh, taking a look at this uh, uh, discussions from the members uh, community perspective, we have a little bit of a unique position from the other SOs and S um, ACs in the, the ICANN community, SASO. Because uh, from the numbers community perspective, um, the accountability of ICANN will basically be secured by our RARs exchanging the SLA with, um, with ICANN. So we actually don't have a particular preference over which model. Um, and the most important thing is that uh, this, uh, whatever model that um, you know, will be suggested, will be able to reach consensus uh, within the CCWG and the wider community so that we're able to move smoothly in this uh, process in developing the proposal. The last question is how the accountability discussions uh, relate to the IANA stewardship transition. Good question. It's not maybe so obvious for those who are not closely uh, watching the process, but uh, NTIA is requiring the two proposals, one on the INS stewardship transition, which is uh, now combined by the ICG, and this uh, proposal on accountability, ICANN accountability developed by the CCWG to be submitted at the same time. And then only when both are being submitted that NTI is able to review and move the transition forward. So it's so important that this uh, consideration on ICANN accountability does not get delayed and it does not affect the timelines of the INS Stewardship transition. Thank you very much, Isumi.